color our home sweet home we're going to be using crayola markers once again and these are just called pip squeaks because they're smaller than the regular size nothing special about crayola markers they're just more reliable and you can find them anywhere here in the u.s and so that's why i like to use them and i think most of you have this and so i just wanted to show you what you could do with your markers and so I'm going to start with this red and it's just a basic red but this one is called cherry red and I'm going to be coloring the roof so I'm just going to come in here and give myself a nice red roof so if you feel more comfortable you can give yourself an outline or just go right in and so what else is red is I'm going to be coloring my heart red right here so whatever I think I know it's gonna be red, I'm just gonna go ahead and color it and my door so that I don't keep um, opening and closing caps all day <laughs> and annoying you. So right here, I'm just gonna go in and color my door nice and red and my apple tree right here. So I'm just gonna give myself a Oops, kind of overdid it. But I'm gonna give myself a little highlight right here. So just gonna give yourself a little white spot right there and color everything else in. So you can go back in there and make it a little bit darker. And maybe some red berries here and there. Oh, and also, almost forgot my window boxes are going to be red too. So I'd love to see your drawings. You can send me your fan art. Love to see what you guys drew and added to your house and the colors you used. So maybe a little bit red here too. And so the next color I'm going to use is this orange, kind of orange. It's called Golden Nugget. And I'm going to be coloring the top right here. So I love coloring when I was little. I passed a lot of hours doing that. <laughs> it was just so nice to uh, put color to something that was black and white and bring it to life. But now that I'm older, I've come to realize coloring is not my strong, uh, not something I'm very too comfortable with because now I overthink things. And I, I start to uh, doubt myself and wonder what color should I color it and I'm never too sure. So drawing, you kind of know what you're going to draw and so you just go ahead and draw it. But with coloring, the options are endless, right? And so I always just, just feel like, oh no, what color should I color? I don't know. <laughs> and um, But I hope you like the colors I chose for this little house. So for the base of the house, I'm going to be using a color called Pop. Puppy beige. And this color, I'm going to be coloring the base of the house. So it's a pretty, it could be a pretty realistic color house, right? You see a lot of houses are this beige color. So I'm just going to come in here and color the house. And my red is kind of running a little bit. I'm kind of getting pinkish right here on the edges. <laughs> so I've just learned something. I should have colored the lighter color first. Then I wouldn't have that problem. So you always learn something new when you make mistakes. And that's how you learn and um, also by practicing. So mistakes are always a very good thing. Never be afraid to make mistakes. So there, I've got my little house in. And so right here, I'm gonna just gonna come in here to the window and I'm gonna color that also the same color. And I'm gonna come in one more time just to make it darker because it is inside. There. 
And so now I'm going to color my um, curtains. So I decided to pop in some color so it's not so boring. And so this is a robin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My eyes are like, it's a raindrop. So it's a nice, cute little blue. So I'm just gonna color my colors, I mean my curtains blue. It's a raindrop color. And so right here. And my steps are going to be gray right here and so is my path so I'm just going to outline my path and color it like that so just um, very roughly it doesn't have to be um, this way it just kind of gives it more of a without coloring it solid looks pretty cool right <laughs> that's one way you could do it and so now I'm gonna come in and color my trees so I'm just gonna give myself an outline right here with this kind of a dark green and it's called oh leaf green again of course <laughs> what else would it be <laughs> and so I'm giving myself an outline and I'm just gonna come in here and outline all the bushes all the grass right here, all my bushes right here. So if you really enjoyed this video with the house and the coloring, let me know in the comments below and um, I would love to do more of these for you guys. So I just wanted to know how, what you guys think about this and if you want to see more or not. So right here, I'm just going to outline all my things are green. And I come in here under my pear, under my apple, and I'm making it darker. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to come in oops, with a lighter green, and this one is called grasshopper green. And I'm going to come in with this green and fill it in. So that way I have a nice variation of green. You don't have to do this, just an option. Just wanted to show you. You can always just go in with the regular leaf green and color it in solid. And so airing all the grass right here. I just like doing this because it gives me some variation in the green. Just like a real bush would have, it would have different shades of green. So this is just one way to do it. So I'm going to go in here really quickly. And finish off my apple tree. darken all the leaves come in here and so I almost forgot my um, chimney <laughs> so I'm gonna come back in here before I make a huge mess and color in my chimney Is going to be this lighter green and this is called baby line so I'm just leaving a little white spot once again just like the apple just to um, pop out my pear and the bark of course I uh, almost forgot to get my brown so I'm going to come in here with this brown and it's called copper penny so it's a light brown. I'm just going to go in and color my bark, my trunk, like that. 
and um, let's see here. Maybe I can try to see if I can color this pushing cat a little gray. There it worked. And my smoke. I'm just going to outline it with some light gray. And my um, rocks right here. And my picket fence. And maybe pink to this guy. Since I don't really know what he is, I'm just going to make him pink. <laughs> just to add some color in his ear. So I'll just call him a rabbit. <laughs> Yes, we have a rabbit in our home. <laughs> and I'm just going to come back in here one more time with the same color that I used for the base of the house just to make it darker. So that way it will set these, the window in and it'll look like it's different from the, the house. little doorknob with this kind of a gold color and I'm just gonna go back in here cuz outline it because um, there's something I need to do <laughs> I just can't let it go I just have to go in there and uh, meddle with it right <laughs> So there, and uh, if you had color pencil or if you wanted to, you could always go in here and fill it all nice and green. Um, or you could just leave it like this. So I really hope you liked how I colored it and I've inspired you once again to draw your own home sweet home and maybe give this to your mom on Mother's Day to thank her for being such a sweet mom for giving you a home sweet home. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to get updates on more Draw Secret videos. See you later.